They also banned you from the meetings. Tell me about that. Yes, sir. I back uh, the first of March. I, I got a letter from the chairman, uh, Culver. Uh, the East okay, Division. I'm gonna stop you for a minute. You said the first of March, so that was first prior. To, that was prior to COVID. Absolutely. It, okay. Yes, yes, Tell sir. me about that. Yes, sir. That was prior to the COVID. Uh, I, I got banned. Uh, got sent the letter that uh, basically restricted my addressing the Houston County Commission until September first. I did not pursue it. I did not question it. I had other things that uh, uh, greater priority. However, this is an extreme great priority because it's uh, without a doubt uh, invading and, and obstructing my First Amendment uh, constitutional rights of freedom and freedom. Also, the, the Alabama Open Meeting Law, uh, uh, the Sunshine Law, uh, is circumvented. But uh, it's been an ongoing thing. Your sign says corrupt Houston County Commission denying, denying First Amendment rights we the people yes, tell sir. me what's happening yeah. and going on uh, well it's been going on for a number of years i can attest to two full years of attending most every meeting and all and our chairman and the commission uh they do everything they can to deny citizens of houston county to participate in open meetings how do they deny they deny first of all they're denying uh, for the last month or two uh last i know four meetings denying the citizens to attend uh, meetings that have been sanctioned by the governor and by the State Department of, of uh, Health where uh, it's open per the guidelines of COVID virus. It's open to the public. They've been denying us to attend the meetings. Period. Yes, sir. Mr. Trotter, you said you're 73 years old. Yes, sir. And they have banned you from coming to the commission meeting saying that you were causing disruption. Yes, sir. Have you ever been arrested? No, sir. I, I've never. In fact, uh, it's funny you ask that. I've only had two traffic violations in my life, and I've been driving since I was 16 years of age on a farm in, in uh, Louisiana where I grew up. And have never been arrested or even uh, tempted or even suggested that I would be arrested. I, I, I make it my business to abide by the law. And uh, again, I, I would be totally embarrassed, and my family would be, and my friends, if, if they knew I was disruptive. Uh, it, that's That's... That's Mr. Cole's idea. And you've never been banned from a meeting or anything like Absolutely that? Absolutely not. No, sir. Never. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right. They, You got a letter in the 1st of March. They stopped you from going to a commission meeting. Did they say why that you were stopped? Yes, sir. They, uh, Mr. Cole tried tried to um, infer that I was uh, breaking decorum, uh, interruption number of times in the meetings and all. And I have witnesses that have recordings of every tape, as they should have by law. But you that, have personal Yes, sir. I have recordings that, that will attest. And I have I have witnesses, very few, uh, uh, sad to say, but that will attest that I've never broken decorum, never have uh, interrupted a meeting. And when I was asked to sit down, I sat down. All right. Uh, and I have a letter, by the way, attached to his letter that I'm passing out to the public that explains my position. Uh, and all my contact information is there for the citizens of Houston County to contact me and or other members to, to get the facts. Uh, we want the facts. All right. Uh, whose district do you live in? I live in District 3. Who's the commissioner of District uh, 3? It's Mr. Herring, uh, which, uh, to be frank with you, has not. Uh, I've had a call in now for uh, over a month for Mr. Herring to sit down and have a cup of coffee. I, uh, the only excuse I've got or reason I got from him was he was busy uh, working on a case down in Florida, a murder case or something, and he get back with me. I have not heard from him. I did see him walk into the meeting through the back door this morning, through the uh, meeting to the meeting up here uh, this morning, County Commission. Look at you or anything. No, else? he when he came by in the truck, he waved and smiled big at me. When he came by in the truck by the light here, he went and parked in that light over there. And as he was walking across here, I observed him to see if he was going to go in the front door or the back door. And I I saw him go around this corner. Now maybe he went in the front door. I couldn't tell from the work this this angle, but uh, I have a feeling he went in the back door. Most of them go. Have you and he ever had a confrontation? No, sir, never confrontation. We've had a, cu a cup of coffee at a time or two since uh, prior to his election, and uh, I think once after he got elected, uh, uh, he and another friend of mine sat and had a cup of coffee with him. But I've never had any time. I, I you know, want to respect Ricky and all, but he just has not served District 3, and, and he's not being open. 
Uh, the, the problem I have and the citizens in Houston County have is lack of transparency, lack of being willing to let the public know what's going on and participate in our government. All right, and in the, when you and Harry, you said, have you ever had any interaction at a commission meeting with him? No, sir. The chairman will not allow us as citizens to address uh, an individual commission in a meeting. Well, him coming and going from the commission meeting. Yes, yeah, so we've, we've spoken, you know, spoken and sh shake hands and, and, you know, we've, was we've never... Was it confrontational or were you... No, just, sir. Never. What was the substance of those? Substance of what now? Of you and Herring's interactions. J just a uh, small talk, just how you doing, how the family, how's everybody doing and all. Nothing, nothing... Uh, relative to actually any business. I, I like to conduct the business in front of the commission, the whole commission, which is fine, but I'd, I'd like to have dialogue with the commission and the chairman, but that, that's impossible. The so chairman you, will not allow it. His rule does not allow dialogue with the citizen with that commission in an open meeting. So you've never talked to Herring about an issue at a commission meeting other than when he's sitting up front as a commissioner, not as he's come off the bench or going to the bench no, sir. Not not that I can recall at all, and and I have no reason to to deny it. If I did, I, I don't I don't know what it would have been. No, sir. Okay. No. What do you hope for the outcome with y'all with the signs? A couple of years is that we can wake the citizens of Houston County up. We, they already wake. We can all tell you wouldn't believe the responses we're getting out here. Uh, and I guess this uh, corruption uh, is the key word. It, 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 a synonymous word of that is is lack of transparency. It, 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 you know, corruption but is Commissioner the first thing. Commissioner Hearing says he's going to be transparent and accountable. Well, he, he may say that. He hasn't been yet. He hasn't been yet. Okay. Uh, from my, my perspective, and I think a lot of citizens in District 3. What are you saying is corrupt? What are what are they doing that you feel is corrupt? Uh, have you got about an hour, hour and a half? Oh, I, okay. I, I can start back uh, several years back in, in just the latest instance, and I will tell you this. The, the instance in, in, and I say corrupt, again, the corruption I'm referring to is the lack of transparency, lack of, of communicating with the public, allowing the public to have input. And the last issue I think that brought it to the head of him sending me the letter, the Mr. Chairman Culver, was over this five-star credit union building back here that they were going to buy, supposedly at a bargain price of $2 million. It supposedly appraised at $3 million. I made the suggestion when I got up and addressed them, I was making a suggestion that I didn't think it would bring a quarter of a million on the open market, but two million, why we're spending two million, the Houston County Commission spending two million on a, uh, a landlocked building back here that has no parking. We can't park right now at the current administrative building and all, there's not enough parking. We own 23 acres out on the east side of town called the Houston County uh, uh, Farm, Center. Farm Center, excuse me, yeah, Houston County Farm Center that's been vacant, we own it. The citizens own it. It's been vacant, I understand, 15 or 20 years. With acres of asphalt parking, buildings that could be renovated. $2 million would go a long way to renovating a few of those buildings out there to put our sheriff's department, which I think he would lots rather be out there in a nice building out there somewhere than downtown here. And that's what they supposedly bought the five-star uh, credit union building for, which put the sheriff's department in, which is ridiculous. But when I was brought these up and asking these hard questions where the media outside both the Dothan Eagle and two TV stations were not there asking a question at all. And, and that's what aggravates me and the citizens of Houston County. We're not getting factual information relative to our county commission out, disseminated out to the public. And I appreciate if, if you know, your, your news media would do that and you do a good job of that. Thank you. But I, I want to go back. Herring says he's transparent and he's accountable. Okay, sir. What's what, your response? Sir? My that, response is, is is transparency. I would I would say no. And a good, the latest prime example is I asked him to sit and have a cup of coffee now. And I, and in that meeting, I wanted to ask him to see about getting me back in and seeing if he could get the commission chairman and the rest of the commission to to at least open the meeting to a little dialogue when the citizen gets up to ask a question. At least they could get an answer and or address their commissioner. Uh, but I have not gotten that from 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 Mr. Harry. And, and uh, as far as uh, uh, accountability, um, you know, that goes hand in hand. Transparency and accountability go hand in hand. And, and uh, he, he just hasn't been accountable because he has not basically responded. Anything else you want the public to know? Uh, no, sir. I, I, that's about it. I appreciate you giving us the opportunity to talk about we the people. I'd just like to mention this button right here. We the people. It's an initiative that me and a handful started up about two years ago. And it's all about good, good government, 
you know, we the people, the first three words are preamble of our U.S. Constitution, and, and on around the side of this button here, it says stewards of good government. And that's all I'm about. That's all I'm about is wanting the people in Houston County to quit. That I want the commission and other government agencies to quit trying to intimidate the people where they don't come to the meetings and all and participate in our government. Our republic uh, form of government, constitutional uh, form of government, requires it that the people participate. It's of the people, by the people, for the people. What do they tell you when you go up to the door at the tower? Uh, they, the sheriff's department, those guys are nice. They're just doing the job. They just tell me. The lady tells me she won't even don't want to let me in the door. Uh, she's an employee, obviously, of the uh, of the clerk, of, not the clerk of court, of the uh, probate judge office. All those employees, they meet people at the door and ask them what their business is in the building and all. And I ask them, you know, uh, I'd like to go to the third floor of the commission meeting or either the sixth floor to the office. They won't even let me go to the sixth floor to the office uh, as of about three weeks ago. Uh, but. Uh, they, they're doing their job. I have no issues with them. Uh, they're just doing their job. And I asked them, who gave y'all the order to deny me and the citizens from the And they refused to say that. Uh, they, at first, I got, them, I got it all on the tape. The first time they had told me that it came from Mr. Cook, a couple of them did, which I knew, I, I figured it did anyway. Uh, but I think they were told since then not to acknowledge where it came from. But it's basically lips lips uh, shut when, when I walk up to the door. What makes you interested and what they're doing. What makes me interested in what they're doing is that that the people need, the taxpayers need to know where their tax dollars are going. They need to have input. Citizens need to have put our government's design, constitutional government's design for them, not just to go to the polls and elect somebody to represent us, but to participate in the government. And that's why we have the open meetings law, the Sunshine Law in Alabama and all other states, uh, is to be able to participate and, and give our input uh, on issues, current issues that come up uh, with the commission and, and other, whether it's a school board or what, what have you. It's, that's what my mission is, to, to be able to, to get the people in Houston County. And I'm 73 years of age, and I've lived in Louisiana and was served on the public school board over there for 11 years. I've never seen such uh, lack of transparency and, a, and will to allow the people to participate in our government as I have here in Houston County, particularly in the last two years.